It's a four-man rush for the pocket. It's intercepted. Threw it up in the air and Levi Wallace with another takeaway. It's one of the most unlikely success stories in all of college football. Seemingly overnight, Alabama cornerback Levi Wallace has become one of the top cornerbacks in the nation. His journey from the practice squad to dominating the SEC may surprise some, but not everyone. He had always told a lot of people and said, hey, my son is going to play for the University of Alabama. He knew something we did not know. Levi Wallace grew up in Tucson, Arizona. Lightly recruited out of high school, he had a deep love for the Alabama Crimson Tide. But after his senior year, it looked like the only way he would see the field was from the stands as a student. Wallace thought his days of playing football were over until a trip back home reminded him of how quickly life can turn. And then there was a time at one point where Levi he wanted to just stay home. You know, when I went back home and visited him, you know, you could see the uh, how it's been digressing. That was not an option, you know, and uh, both Walt and I, you know, just said, you know, this is what you have to do. Levi's father, Walter, had been diagnosed with ALS. Rather than stay home in Arizona, the man who taught his sons to love his hometown Crimson Tide convinced Levi to give football one last shot. He had confidence in me and I had confidence in myself and I uh, just wanted to see, you know, how, how good I could be. Levi tried out and made the team as a walk-on, but his journey to actually seeing the field was long from over. He would spend the next few seasons tirelessly working away on the practice squad. You know, there's only a handful of times where you go against guys like Amari Cooper, who you know are going to the NFL, and then you see him on Sundays or Saturdays um, out here in Brian Denny, you know, doing amazing things, and you're like, I've covered him all week. In the spring of 2014, it all paid off. At Alabama's A-Day game, Levi stepped onto the field for the first time as a member of the Crimson Tide. His family back home in Arizona gathered to watch him play, but his father wasn't there to see it, as Walt had passed away the night before. I got in towards, towards the end of the spring game, and I was just happy that I was able to compete um, you know, with the teammates, um, knowing that he, he was able to watch it after all. So we're going to give three scholarships to guys, all guys that have been here for four or more years. Troy Harris, yeah. Brandon Moore, and Levi Wallace. Yeah. Now in his senior season, has solidified himself as a lockdown corner on Alabama's defense. The unlikely star playing every down, knowing that the man who told him to go for his dream is watching. I tend not to you know, really think about you know, that, that he's not here. Because um, I know he's watching over me. You know, he might say, you know, I, I expected it. You know, he might say he's proud. He might say, you did all right. You're doing all right. You know, that, that's the type of guy he was. Even when I scored a touchdown, he, he'd always say, I thought you could run a little faster.